In this video, I want to show you how you can add Serilo to your ES.NET Core applications. First, we need a new application, .NET, new web. Then we can run it right away to see if the logging system works. As you see, when I load the project in my browser, new events get logged in my terminal window. We can add more stuff here. To do that, I stop the application right now and go to startup.cs. I don't need the terminal window anymore and I don't need the sidebar. In here, I need to inject iLogger factory to use logging system. iLogger factory and I name it logger factory. Control dot I logger factory needs a new using. Now I need to create the logger var logger logger factory create logger. I need to enter a category name, it can be any name. So I use my log. As a convention, it's good to use the name of current namespace here but right now we just want to go on with this logger from now on in this method i can use logger to log into logging system so i use logger and log information then i send a message this is from logger now i need to run the project in terminal again .net run and when I refresh the page again, I can see system logs and my own log, which is here. This is from logger. And as you can see, the category name goes here. I stop the server. Default logging system is good, but I want to log into a SQLite database. That way I can go back and see what happened later. To replace the current logging system with say log, we need to add some packages. First, I add package serilog ace.net core to my project. Then I restore. Now I go to my default web host builder that is in program.cs file. Here I use dot use serilog and I add the namespace. Now, if you run the application again, you won't see any log in your terminal. Let's do that. .NET, run, I refresh the page again and there is nothing happening in terminal. That's because as default, say log doesn't send any data to your console. To add console support to this project, I have to add a new sync. Say log has a couple of syncs that you can send your logging data to them. And here we want to use console sync. I use .NET to add the package. I restore again. Now I have to set the logger. To do that, I use log, logger, logger configuration, write to console. And at the end, you need to create a logger. Create logger. I save. Now I run the project again, .NET, run. Now when you refresh the page, you can see logins in your terminal. So we replace ASP Core Logger with Serilog. And the next step is to add SQLite support. I need to stop the project and add another package. The package is Serilog Syncs SQLite. I need to restore again. All I need to do is to add the right to here. And I use it right to and I use SQLite here. I need to put a name here for my database name log.db and to set the path I use environment client directory. Now logs going to console and into SQLite at the same time. 
I run the project again, .NET, run. When I refresh the page, there is logs in your terminal window, and also there is a file called log.db here. To check it out, you can use SQLite Studio. In SQLite Studio, if you open the file, you can see the same logs as your console application. And this way, you can use console and database together. In this video, we replaced the logger system with SQLite and saved our login data into a database. I hope you enjoyed.